you through now. Phelps, badge 1247. How can I help, detective? I need an address for a Grosvenor McCaffrey. Grosvenor McCaffrey. Apartment 6, 126 Yale Street, between Ord and Alpine. Thanks for your help. You're behind the wheel. And where exactly are we going? Can you drive to this one? Let me pose a question. Depends. What you got to do with? Morals. Would it bother you to put the wrong person away? Depends. On what? On whether anyone except the poor son of a bitch in the slammer ever found out. Caffrey is in apartment six. Doesn't look like anybody's home. from the letter we found beside the body. At the very least, I'd say it ties McCaffrey to the scene. Circumstantial. This isn't what we're looking for. He said he was at home. He said he didn't know her. And we have the book. Let's see Carruthers argue his way out of this one. Is that you, Grosvenor? Who are you guys? What are you doing in here? We're from the LAPD, ma'am. Do you know where we might find McCaffrey? I'm his neighbor. 
Is he in trouble? Look, lady, we need to find him, and in a hurry. Are you going to give me trouble? He has a pigeon coop up on the roof. He spends his mornings up there when he's been drinking. How do we get up there? Down the hall and up the stairs. Drunk and in command of a carrier pigeon. Hmm. Surely we can ride him up for that. A citation, at least. The women don't find you handsome, they should at least find you handy. Grosvenor McCaffrey! Running on a hangover, McCaffrey? Sit down and we'll talk! Do not lose that son of a bitch! I'll go get our wheels. You a runner, McCaffrey? Stay and fight the good fight. There he is, officer. Hey, if you get him, give him one for me, detective. Give it up, LAPD. McCaffrey, you're under arrest on suspicion of murdering Evelyn Summers. We need to get downtown and wrap this thing up. It's got to be McCaffrey. Unless Terranen set him up. You don't think that asshole Jameson could have done it, do you? Ah, whoever did it. At least it wasn't that Dahlia. How do you know that McCaffrey didn't do the Dahlia? We have a list of over 200 suspects. His name was never on it. If you think the list is exhaustive, Rusty, who am I to argue? Listen, let's just work the case at hand, shall we? Then we can sit down and put all the puzzle pieces together at a later date. I'll hold you to that. Please, Phelps, the siren. Up for some of the rough stuff, are you? What's your beef with this guy, Phelps? Oh, 
belts. Leave him be. You! Get back here! These people! Careful! Give it up, LAPD! Frank Morgan? Yeah, yeah, look, it was Harry's idea to boost the truck full of fishes, not mine. I was in the bar late talking and we- Save it. You two idiots can say hello to Adrian for me. Oh, God damn it. You're behind the wheel. You sure you can make it stick with one of these suspects, gentlemen? It's either McCaffrey or Tiernan, sir. I think Jameson is an aberration. All right. I'll deal with that degraded lunatic myself. He's got some fearful retribution coming. Tiernan is a one, McCaffrey is not two. I want a confession from one of them. Don't fail me, young Phelps. The thing was, he was a really nice guy. I felt loud and tolerant. Why did you run, Tiernan? I was the last one to see Evelyn that night. I knew you would think it was me. Can you describe your relationship with Evelyn? I barely knew Evelyn. Sounds like half an answer to me, Tiernan. Were you sleeping with her? That's none of your business. Aristotle's Metaphysics, the book that belonged to McCaffrey. McCaffrey saw her looking at her once and laughed in her face. And you're saying Evelyn stole it. She wanted something of his. You hate McCaffrey. You're trying to frame him for this. 
You've got the wrong guy. How can you prove that? I'm telling you, McCaffrey did this. Do something about it and leave me alone. Do you own a car, Tiernan? No, I don't. Hmm. Have access to a lug wrench? No, we use a lot of them to clear jams in the pin setting machines. I want the truth. I think you broke into McCaffrey's apartment and planted a lug wrench there. I didn't do that, and there's no way you can prove any different. As hard as this is for you to contemplate, I really loved Evelyn. She was kind and gentle to me. Evelyn was missing a ring from her right hand. That's strange. She always wore it. A uh, big black circular disc with a white E in the middle. It was made from an old typewriter key, a present from the prop department at her old movie studio. We're going to talk to McCaffrey. You need to think about what you've told us, Tiernan. You're not in the clear. Hey, I gave his wife a tap. You ready to answer some questions? You think I have all the answers? People who run from the police usually have something to hide. Touche, detective. Let's see where this takes us. You told us you barely knew Evelyn Summers. She hung around sometimes. I had very little to do with her. <laughs> you have to do better than that, Grosvenor. We know about you and Evelyn. Evelyn was a lush and a boring one at that. You can't link her to me. Seems there's a serious gulf between what you think you know and what you actually do, detective. Evelyn died sometime around midnight. Remind me, where were you? I was at home, writing. I'm working on a manuscript. You're lying, McCaffrey. You were out at the rail yard. And what do you have that proves I was there? How about half of Augusta Summers' last correspondence with her daughter? What are you talking about? After you were done beating Evelyn, you searched her and found her mother's letter. That old lady's anguish amused you. I know nothing about a letter or Evelyn's goddamn mother. So what was it doing on your writing desk? I don't know, but if I didn't put it there, somebody else did. Try exercising your powers of deduction on that. It's either going to be you or Tiernan, Grosvenor. Make it stick, detective. The party has good lawyers. I say we bust in there and find the goddamn evidence. Operator, message for KGPL. Putting you through now. Phelps, 1247. How could I help, Detective? I need the jacket on a Grosvenor McCaffrey. Just a moment, Detective. McCaffrey was formerly under surveillance by the Red Squad. Convictions for petty theft. Dishonorable discharge from the Army during training at Syracuse. Assault on a local woman. Says he almost beat the woman to death. 
Thank you. You were in the war? Yes, I was. Seeing the things that I saw. It changes a man. I came back here determined to change things. All I wanted was a pen and an opportunity to speak out. You told us before that you had only minor run-ins with the police. You didn't mention petty theft. I've never been in trouble for violence. That's the salient point here, isn't it? You're lying, McCaffrey. You have a history of violence towards women. How do you turn a couple parking tickets in a petty theft misdemeanor into an assault charge? We know all about you and your dishonorable discharge. Beating some poor woman near to death in Syracuse. He's never been in combat, McCaffrey. Your whole life is a fraud. She was a goddamn peasant whore. She tried to steal from my wallet. I could have fought for this country. I could have. You beat her because she stole from you. Because she tried to outsmart you. The ignorant audacity of the bitch. What is a man supposed to do? Sit there and take it? How is a man supposed to call himself a man? And Evelyn Summers, a poor, drunken nobody, stole your book. And she got what was coming to her! Grosvenor McCaffrey, I'm charging you with the murder of Evelyn Summers. She was a sad lady who never hurt anyone except herself. I hope God finds a way to forgive you. Congratulations, boys. You bagged the fine catch. Another red to boot. Grand. Now, I want you to put this business about a repeat offender out of your mind. This McCaffrey creature shows no remorse, and neither will the grand jury. You would have to walk a long mile to find a better candidate for an unmarked plot at the prison graveyard. Most of Shaughnessy and Dunn's squad. His gunny is dead. First platoon is in worse shape. That medic is either crazy or the bravest man alive. Now we rally with the first. The try for the Nambus. It's here to the left. To the right, it goes right through a pass with two Nambus and Infilate. Mate, we can I'm lose everyone. Send the lieutenant. Get back off this fucking bridge. They'll start walking the mortars back to their own positions. We only have I'm minutes. I'm in charge here, Sergeant. Get your men off the bridge, Lieutenant. What's your unit, Sergeant? We don't have time for this, Lieutenant. What's your unit, Sergeant? I company 22nd Marines, Lieutenant. And we just saved your ass by fording the river. My orders are to reconnoiter the... I think that point is now moot. You have 10 men left. My orders are to save what's left. Move out! Well done, lads. You did well with the Summers case. But we have a problem. The examiner received a new letter today. Do you mind if I take a look, Ray? Go right ahead. They've both been rinsed in gasoline like the previous letters, so I can't lift a print.
suffer woes which hope thinks infinite, to forgive wrongs darker than death or night. Another snippet from the Shelley poem. No one else but the killer knew about this message. If the note is from the Dahlia maniac, he definitely also killed Teresa Terrell. Mal and I agree. But where does that leave us? If this is the Dahlia killer, and he is responsible for the Tarles and Merlin, not to mention the Molochs... Hang on a moment, Skipper. Let me finish, Rusty. We have five birds in hand and none in the bush. The department will not survive a scandal if we have to let them all go without catching a fiend first. Your careers would be over for a start, gentlemen. Looking in wonder... Ah, oh, fuck it. I knew this rhyme was too good to be long. true. I hid myself within a fountain in the public square. You like that stuff? What is it supposed to it's mean? Supposed to... Forget what it's supposed to... What does he want? It Where to... are you going with this, Cole? He's obviously taunting us. He believes he's far more intelligent than we are. Okay. It's some kind of story, right? A guy that God hates chains him up. It's an allegory, Rusty. A what? story with two meanings. A symbolic meaning. But that's what he wants us to think. Could he be using it literally? Within a fountain in a public square? Could it be that easy? Can somebody tell me what the fuck is going on? The fountain in Pershing Square. Come on, we have a clue. Captain, thanks, Ray. Be careful, Phelps. This is his game you're playing now. Malfi took strips off me at the grand jury. He's got thrown out. Now the DA wants my hand. Bueno, mi gente, lo dejo hasta aquí. Espero que les haya gustado. Recuerden, no olviden darle like y favoritos. Ayuda muchísimo al canal. Así que nos vemos hasta la próxima.